to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys Baby Girl's nursery tour. So I've been talking about this video for so long, but I was waiting for some pieces to come in before I showed it to you guys. Also, I planned on introducing her to you guys in this video, but she's sleeping and Knox is sleeping, so I'm like, you know what, I just need to take advantage of this time that I have, so I'm gonna let them be and just get this video filmed for you guys. If you are interested in seeing Baby Girl, she's two and a half weeks old now. I did show her in our last vlog. Also, I have a labor and delivery vlog. If you guys have not seen that, I'll link that down below. Um, but you see her in that video. So yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing her nursery along with like what's in her changing table, what's in her armoire, and all of the details of her room. So I will link everything that I can down below. If I can't find the exact item, I will link something similar for you guys. And without further ado, let's hop right in. So I'm gonna try to make sense of her room. So this door leads to the hallway, which our room is right on the left. And then Knox's room is right down the hall and it leads to the rest of our apartment. So over here, I'm gonna start with this wall. Um, so we have a closet and a closet. So Kyle uses this for some clothes. I use that for some clothes that we are not wearing right now. Um, so none of baby girl's stuff is in there. We just kind of use it for storage. But here is her little changing table and all of that. I absolutely love this mirror. I think it's such a great statement piece. I found it at Marshall's, um, but they have a ton similar online if you are looking to order one. And then this changing pad cover is everything. This was like the inspiration for her room. I got this from Etsy. It's so beautiful. I love the colors in it, that like vintage kind of washed um, color tones and all of that. So that's really, like I said, where I got the inspiration for her entire room. Our dresser is from Target, but I bought these knobs from Hobby Lobby that are like gold and kind of roughed up to just really add to it. It just came with regular white knobs, which was pretty boring. And I just feel like these gold knobs did so much for the dresser. So in this first drawer, here I have Knox's diapers. We use the Hello Bello diapers. I think they're okay. Um, for Knox, he is like a little bit smaller and recently the size fours have been kind of like falling off of him um, and almost like pulling his pants down even when the diapers are like hardly wet. For her, I love the Hello Bello diapers. They seem to fit her really, really well. We haven't had any like leaks or explosions or anything like that. So yeah, and I just obviously, I mean, they're so cute. So I have Knox's diapers, Elle's diapers, and then in here we have like some body lotions that we use after the tub. We have some diaper balm, hand sanitizer, um, some gripe water, which is a must if you have a newborn and also some saline drops, we use those on Knox. A little hairbrush, a thermometer, just kind of like the necessities. Over here we have wipes, and then I also have, these are actually doggy poop bags that I order from Amazon in like a bulk, and we just use them for really stinky diapers. Um, so I have like a whole roll of those, so you can just kind of like pull them out. And then over here we have some small books. So I love having these little books up here. Um, Knox is not the easiest to change right now, so giving him one of these books is definitely helpful, or even letting him pick out one of the books really kind of makes the changing process a lot easier on everybody. Next drawer down, I just have some, these are actually cloth diapers, but I love using them as like muslins and burp cloths and things like that. They're just super absorbent and easy to wash. I will link those down below. I get them in bulk again off of Amazon. Um, I just have some backstock blankets here that she's not using and then some extra muslins. I also have some on the wall that I'll show you guys, but these are just kind of like extras uh, because you can never have enough muslin blankets. I just swear by those, so we have a stack of those there. And then here in the bottom we have like what we need for backstock. So I usually have one or two packs of both size diapers for the kids down here just so that I don't have to run to the basement to get more, but I need to restock. I do have some swimmy diapers over here for Knox extra wipes, and then diaper genie replacement bags, or whatever you call those. That is what is in the bottom there. Okay, so that is it for her little changing station. Over here to the left, we have the diaper genie, which Kyle and I are just back and forth about it. I don't know if it's a necessity, but at the same time, we've never been without one, so I don't know. I think if you change it out often enough, it actually works really well. We leave ours for too long, so the diapers still stink. So maybe if we used it correctly, we'd like it more. <laughs> So I recently found this piece at Marshall's and it's got like little bells on it. It's so cute. Um, so it's like a little, almost like a wind chime, but I love this like bamboo detail with the gold. I thought it went so well with her room. So definitely felt like we needed to have that. And then this is her little hamper over here. And I really love that basket. I think it really adds to the room. I like the shape of it and everything. It's super cute. Okay, so coming around over here, these curtains are from Target. They are amazing. I was so picky. With curtains, it took me so long to figure out exactly what I wanted. I actually bought two or three 
uh, sets of curtains, tried them out in here and returned to them. So eventually I got it right. I'll give you guys a close up so you can see. So this is a close up of the curtains and like the detail on it. Part of it is showing up purple, but it's actually like a taupe color. It's definitely not purple in person, um, but it's like a goldish yellow with like a taupey kind of grayish brown color, but love those. And then over here we have her chair and a little ottoman. This ottoman I had in Knox's room, so it's actually pretty filthy at this point. I'd love to have one that was like a brown leather. Um, that's what I would really like to get. I'll link one down below from Amazon that I've had my eye on forever. Uh, but I'd really like to get that or something with color, even something like pink or something like that. I just have a pillow and a couple of blankets. So the floral one obviously matches her changing pad. And then this is a beautiful muslin blanket that Kyle's dad got us for our baby shower. And it's from Etsy. It's so beautiful. And I just feel like this is going to be a blanket that she like brings to college with her. And it will be all worn and torn and well loved. But that's just what I imagine. I imagine it being like her blanket that she drags around everywhere. So yeah, I just kind of have that over there for some texture. Then we have this nightstand, which I'm obsessed with. I think it's so great. It adds so much to the room. That is from Target along with the lamp. The lamp's actually really, really cute. Um, when you get up close, you can see that it has some like animals and butterflies and stuff on it. So it was a little bit pricey. It was like a $40 lamp, uh, but I thought that it really added to the room and just went perfectly. This we got at Hobby Lobby. Knox named her Esther, which I thought was hilarious because we don't like know an Esther and we don't watch a show with an Esther. I don't know where he got that, but. Oh, and on top of this, I put this little um, placemat that I found at Target. It's like a brown leather placemat. That way it just like protects the top if we put like a drink up here or anything like that. Okay, and then swinging over here is her armoire. So this we got off of a swap and sell site in our area. It was actually like a TV stand, so your TV went in here. But we just added like a rod inside so that when you open it up, we can hang all of her clothes. Um, so a little DIY tip there, but it was super, super easy to do. And then we obviously have like the two drawers down there for her other clothes. And all of her clothes that fit her right now are in there. So everything up here is from Target or Hobby Lobby, but I just have a photo of my belly when I was pregnant with her, this little vase with some greenery, this bowl I fell in love with at Target. I just thought it like matched her room perfectly. And I keep all of her binkies and binky clips in there. And I like to put them up there so that Knox cannot go through them because he would claim all of those in two seconds. Um, this was actually the first thing that I ever bought for her room. It's so funny. Uh, I just like fell in love with it at Hobby Lobby and purchased it one day on a whim after we had found out we were having a girl. Um, so I love that. That's kind of like a special piece in here. And then again, I have another maternity picture from when I was pregnant with her. And then a little diffuser over here, which she doesn't sleep in here or spend much time in here right now. Um, so I diffuse just to kind of like distract from the diaper smell. Um, this diffuser is from Target. I think it's so beautiful and it goes so well in her room. Okay, so inside of her armoire, like I said, we put this little rod in here so we could hang her clothes. So I have most of her outfits and things like hanging up here and then jammies and like onesies and stuff are down here, which I'll show you in just a sec. But these baskets were a gift and these were from Amazon. These were something we had on our registry. I just fell in love with them. Last time I checked, they were out of stock. They came as like a set of three, but they had some similar that I'll link down below. But I like to keep like her teethers and things in here. In here we have headbands and hats. And then in here I keep all of her bibs, which this is usually much more full, but clearly I need to do some laundry. <laughs> Then we have a pair of tiny jelly shoes that my mom bought for her. Yeah, I just like to put them there because I think they look really cute. We have her name sign from Smiling Tree Toys, which I just love this. And then we have a little basket of toys and stuffed animals for her. Um, these hangers I got off Amazon. I think they're so pretty. They're like rose gold and cream. Okay, so when you open her drawer, this is what it looks like. So I highly, highly recommend these. Forgot to mention these. These are what we used in her changing table as well to separate the diapers. These are amazing. They have like a spring in here, so they adjust to the size that you need. Uh, so yeah, they just make everything look so much more organized. And I like that they're like that bamboo wood because it just looks really nice as well. So we have pajamas. All of these pajamas are preemie or newborn. Then we have short sleeve onesies, long sleeve onesies, and then we have some swaddles. So these are the swaddles that um, you can put their arms like up under, kind of like under their chin or like around their face. And then these ones are the ones you generally wrap their arms like straight down. So we just have a couple of those. I had some preemie onesies over here that do not fit, so I need to take those out. And then some socks. So 
yeah that is what her drawer looks like and then this is what the bottom drawer looks like so this is all zero to three month um so she doesn't fit into this stuff quite yet this would be like a little bit big on her uh, but yeah, pretty much layout is all the same and as you come around here We are back at the door and we just have some muslins hanging So this little rack is actually like a coffee rack that I got from Amazon It's kind of like wall art and decor But at the same time it's super functional because if you need a muslin really quick You can just like pull it off the hook I do have this little onesie over here hanging again just kind of for like decor and stuff and then I usually have her binky with her binky keeper because we do bring this with us a lot and um, yeah I just like to have it out so I think that looks really cute and then this is probably where we would have her bassinet that's in our bedroom which I'll show you guys in a second uh, so down here I just keep her Moses basket which I love I have raved about this on Instagram I think it is so great so convenient it's like the product that I didn't know I needed um, with our first baby and now that I know I need it I will recommend it to every new mom I think it's so so great so yeah inside there you can actually buy like little um, pads and like mattresses to go in with your Moses basket but I just have a blanket in there right now so it's not something that she like sleeps in so it's safe because you know someone's always watching her but anywho that's just kind of what we have there. So I do want to talk about her rug because I think this is such a statement piece and a beautiful piece in her nursery. It's like one of my favorite parts. It has like different colors of taupe and brown and then it's got the different textures obviously that create the design but I just think this is such a great nursery rug and it's just so beautiful. It's easy to clean and I really think it makes the space. Another really cool element in her room is this light shade, which I made myself. I DIY'd that. It was super easy. I did make a video on it, so I'll link that down below. But it's just really cool. It adds so much to the room. And we had like a really not super cute light fixture up there before. So yeah, I was inspired to create a new one, and I just love how it came out. I'll turn it on so you guys can see what it looks like. So that is what it looks like when it's on. And like I said, I just think it's another really cool element of her room. So one last thing I wanted to mention is her bassinet and what we use for her to sleep in. So this is in our bedroom because this is where she sleeps right now. Like I said, she's only two and a half weeks old. This was the bassinet that we chose for her and I love it so much. These I added just for looks. Um, I found these at Hobby Lobby and just threw them on. They were like $2 a piece. But I thought that was just kind of like a cute little detail. As you can see underneath there, I have some storage. So I have a changing pad and then two baskets, one with like wipes and diaper cream, and then the other one has diapers in it. So just really easy and convenient to change her at night. Also has different settings here on the side to match your bed side. So depending on how high your bed is or how high you want her bassinet, you can switch that up and then also this part zips off and you can actually pull this whole section down and do like a co-sleeper um, right up next to your bed if you want. We don't use it that way, but I love that it has that option in case you do want to do like a co-sleeping bassinet. So definitely wanted to mention that. Okay guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, found it helpful, got some inspiration. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite item in her nursery is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.